Hi everyone, welcome back to another year here on my channel. I'm Nalanda and I am feeling really freaking good about 2022. Now I did have to spend New Year's Eve isolating with Omarion, unfortunately, but I'm really grateful for my health and I'm very thankful that um, it was only a really bad sore throat that I had to deal with for a few days. But I'm feeling so much better now and am ready to kick this year's ass. Because I'm dreaming, I'm goal setting, I'm creating systems of discipline, I'm manifesting, I'm making magic, and I'm gonna be succeeding all 2022, baby. And I wanna take you with me. First things first is my bullet journal. Um, this is my fourth year using a bullet journal and I'm very determined to make it my first year that I actually complete spreads for all 12 months because in the past um, I usually get hit with that like biannual depression time and then I fall off for a couple months But this year I really want to make it through all 12 months in order to help me stay on track throughout the whole year I'm gonna promise myself not to get too wrapped up in themes or drawing too many doodles, etc. Just because when you're not super artistically skilled, like myself, thinking about those things kind of adds a lot of pressure, which is so unnecessary. I like pretty colors and I like functionality. Those are the two things that like matter when it comes to themes for me. I just want to make moves and get my shit done this year, you know? But let me take you through what I have so far in my bullet journal. So this year, I treated myself to a much nicer dotted journal than I've used in the past. This journal is by String and Space. It's really great quality. The cover and the pages are really thick. And I mainly use the Crayola Super Tips and there's been no ghosting or bleeding on the pages. It does have a pocket in the back, a double ribbon to use as placeholders, and elastic to keep it closed as well as a spot for a pen. The pages also have this rose gold edge with stars that match the cover. So it makes it look extra fancy and fabulous, which is exactly how I want to feel this year. So. It's perfect. The first section is my yearly setup for 2022. I don't have much of a theme, just using the same colors, these muted tones of red, green, and blue. And I used a bit of a gold gel pen to put some pop of color in certain places too. I was stalling progress by trying to decide on the best theme and we ain't doing that this year. We're not stalling for nothing. So I have my title page, the grid spacing cheat sheet with a key, and I'm changing the symbols I'm using this year to see if I like it better. Then on my title page, I really like the way the 2022 came out, but I kind of panicked on what to put underneath and what I had written initially, I hated. So I recently just fixed it to make it match my vision board. And that video will be out next week. So next is my future log. I did invest in the little calendar stamps because at this point I can't be bothered to write all the little dates in the boxes, okay? So for my future log, I only went up to June because I only plan on using this journal for the first half of the year. The next spread is probably my most important one. It's where I have my focus on, basically my goals and resolutions. I separated the page into four different quadrants and used one for each specific category. I have career and finance, health and wellness, personal and creative content. Of course, there are goals that overlap categories, but organizing what I want out of my life like this makes it more manageable for me. My finances are going to be a huge focus of mine this year, so I wanted to make a tracker to see the growth of my income, investments and savings, and the depletion of my debt. And I probably should have swapped this page with the last one, but oh well. This is my quarterly goals page. What do I want to have done by the first, second, third, and fourth quarters of the year? This is another great way to help me plan out how I'm going to achieve my goals. For example, a lot of my Q1 goals are to start a certain thing, for example, streaming, and then by Q2, 3, etc., I'll hopefully have a better grasp and can do so regularly, which is an end of year slash overall 2022 goal of mine. Now the next page is my monthly dump. This is a new spread for me, but basically I'm using it as a scratch pad for things I need to think about or do in a certain month. This next spread is also new to me. I want to be a little more present and enjoy myself a little more this year. So I'm going to document that by putting a picture of a memory for each month in its designated spot. Then my last spreads for 2022 are the check it out list where I'll fill out books, anime, movies, etc. that I'd like to read or watch throughout the year. And then my wish list, which is really just a running list of things that I want so I don't forget. Honestly, I feel like one page is definitely not going to be enough for the year, but um, we'll see. Maybe I'll have to just write a little tiny. Then on to my first monthly spread. Uh, for January, I feel like a lot of common themes usually have to do with either winter or the new year. 
but it's actually my birthday month and that's what was on my mind. Particularly the song and album Young Forever by BTS. Um, the cover of the album is a hot air balloon which inspired the theme for this month. I basically copied the hot air balloon design from the album cover on my title page and then on my quote page on the left, I wrote out the lyrics to the song Young Forever. Although the title page is super colorful, I limited my color palette to just four colors for the month. This is my calendar, kind of basic, but it does the job. Then I have my financial trackers for expenses like bills and groceries, kind of those like fixed things that I can't um, change. And then I have my spending tracker on the right, which is for the non-essential purchases. This page is my habit trackers, and I went really simple this month. Basically, fill in a box when I do the habit that corresponds to the day. I'm tracking meditation, stretching, working out, practicing dance, because I did sign up for a year with Steezy, and having balanced meals. Basically, I want to make sure that what I'm eating involves protein, carbs, and vegetables. Mainly vegetables, because I don't need enough of those. Then my content planning page is just a space for me to plan out videos like this one, where basically I can write down my idea and then when I would outline and script it, film it, edit it, and when I would like it to go up. So assuming my production schedule is on point, there should be a video up every week this month. As I mentioned earlier, my birthday is this month, and although I don't really have any plans right now, I did want to make a scrapbook-like spread that encompasses however I choose to celebrate even if that's just watching anime for 10 hours and eating instant ramen. And this is my first weekly spread. Again, keeping it simple, a box for each day and a space for weekly tasks that just need to get done. I really love the way the colors look together and I think you can see it best on this page. And that's my bullet journal so far this year. Obviously, we're only a week into January, but I'm really excited to move into the new year and to lean further into my like self-discovery growth journey. I'm looking forward to making more videos, to start streaming and learning a whole bunch of new skills. I think I'm just excited to make the life that I want actually happen. And I really hope that you feel the same way too, that you're just as excited about your own life's journey and that you even want to come along with me on mine. <laughs> well, thank you so very much for watching and entering the new year with me. If you enjoy videos like this, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. That's all 2022, baby. <laughs> Bye.